to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Anambra State, good evening. I'm very, very honored to be here. And um, I want you to know that um, I truly, truly am blessed to bring the word of the Lord to us so much graciousness so much display of love and honor i sincerely appreciate first and foremost everyone and then let me honor and bless our precious host pastor obi and his dear wife please give them a big big hallelujah and then such an honor to also have him in our midst and meeting him personally for the first time such a brilliant man and a gift to the body of christ dr cosmas god bless you sir thank you thank you sir i will not fail to honor our father he is the healthiest 84 year old veteran of the gospel i know Please let's bless daddy. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I also want to honor all who have been here. I want to bless Reverend O. Daniel and his dear wife and then all the servants of God who are here. I believe that the Lord has gathered us tonight. Thank you for the honor you have showed me. But then I know that our lives will never be the same. Hallelujah, find the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, find the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, find the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in your land. There's going to be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved Thank you, oh my Father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done leaving us your spirit in your work on earth 
está In one minute, can you lift your hands and cry to the Lord for a visitation tonight? Please go ahead and pray. We are here for you. Come and do the things that you do. We are here for you. Come and heal the way that you heal. We are here for you. Come and bless the way that you bless. Set our hearts on you. So you'll do what you do, for we need a move. This is the move. We need a move. Somebody's praying. Let this be my encounter, oh God. I am here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you do what I ah I ah My life must change I've touched your grace So my life must change My mind must change My mind must change Spirit of the living God, move us to realms of power and grace. You have put this meeting together. May we never be the same. Change us, purge us, prune us, anoint us, and let Jesus be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to be very brief tonight. It's a prayer meeting. We'll start with a prayer meeting tonight. But I want you to be very, very sensitive. For the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but there is that spirit. And the Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, it says there is liberty. Then it says, we all with faces unveiled, beholding him as in a mirror. It says, we are changed. That's what is happening to you right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Please be seated and God bless you. The Lord put it in my heart. I have been responding to a very strong bird.
burden of the spirit in the last say one or two months the Lord has been laying it very strongly in my heart as to the many things that he is doing across the globe and the need to build people who have capacity and stature to be able to handle that which God intends to do in this season and I believe that this conference is no different that God even by his spirit is putting in place all that is needed and all that it would take to fan that flame of revival and the Lord will grant us grace in the name of Jesus I'm teaching on the coming revival the coming revival a conference my sessions will be a revival series the coming revival and um, tonight will be part one we'll be looking at what a subtitle that I call Peniel encounter with the God of Jacob encounter with the God of Jacob in that experience that he called Peniel the face of God all across the globe believers have been perceiving at different levels that there is coming a mighty move of God not just in Europe alone not just in America the Caribbean Asia but particularly in our continent the continent of Africa fathers of faith some have gone to join the cloud of witnesses some are still alive like daddy they have prophesied and they have seen by the Spirit of God that a time is coming in the church age where there will be such an imagines an imagines of men and women and imagines of people with power and imagines of people with stature and imagines of people who have an understanding of God and of kingdom advance and for many these prophetic words have become like cliches without a performance because many people have waited for years and even for decades when will this revival come when will this move of God come and how can I be part of what God is doing how can I be part of this global revival that will usher in the Christ as he returns and so I've been burdened to teach and share the things that have to do with the move of God and even the coming revival for many reasons number one because on one hand there are a people who are carnal complacent tired worn out like the five foolish virgins and they don't seem to be interested in the things of God they do not seem to be interested in prophecy number two there are those who are sincere whose hearts are open they love Jesus Christ and they want to be part of his program but they have not been methodically mentored to understand the demands of hosting the presence and the power of God even in these end times I have seen very sincere preachers sincere businessmen sincere politicians academicians people across different fields of endeavor who have very strong godly and Christian convictions they know that the move of God is coming but they are at a loss like the sons of noah the lord spoke to noah and said rain is coming i will wipe the earth in a flood but they were at a loss as to what strategy would exempt them from that they needed noah to come and now begin to teach them that the strategy would be to build an ark of gopher wood three stories and then to preserve themselves and their families For those who are complacent and not serious with the things of God, just plain religion, or do not even, they are completely not interested in anything that has to do with kingdom. 
our responsibility to such people is the ministry of prophetic intercession that we continue to pray that their eyes be open that the captivity that the god of this world has has brought to their lives by casting a spell upon their hearts and their minds so that they are not able to see christ for who he is that that veil be taken away so that like paul they will come into that comprehension of jesus christ and that program for their lives but for those who are already in the faith preachers businessmen congregants successful men people who love jesus some with all their hearts and they are determined to be part of his program it is important that there be a system of bringing to their minds an unveiling of god's prophetic blueprint what is god doing right now across the globe and then what are the demands what does it take to be part of god's program are we still together you may have heard me say it in any of my teachings that you may have found that there are three levels of the anointing i want you to please pay attention tonight number one there is the anointing that comes upon the believer or is at work in the believer by reason of being grafted into christ when you come into christ there is a measure of the anointing the empowerment and the engracing of the spirit the bible teaches that is at work in your life the second level of the anointing is the anointing that comes upon a believer by reason of the office that you occupy as far as god's program is concerned so when you find your place in purpose and destiny be it in ministry be it in business be it in politics the moment you find your place there is the engracing sent from heaven to back you and to make for your efficiency as a witness that is the second level of the anointing connected to purpose the third level of the anointing is connected to discernment and alignment so the first level of the anointing is connected to your relationship with jesus new birth the second level of the anointing is connected to purpose the third level of the anointing is connected to discernment and alignment this level of the anointing does not just come because you are a christian this level of the anointing does not just come because you are godly this level of the anointing does not even just come because you are serving and you are in the program of god this level of the anointing is an honor and a reward to you for discerning what god is doing per season per time and paying the price of alignment to be part of his program are we together now so you will find people who are experiencing the anointing the measure of grace that comes by reason of being a child of god because the bible says as many as received him he says he gave them power so there is power that was given to them then there are those who have found their place in life and destiny and they have obtained the grace and the anointing connected to purpose but hear me in this end time there are mantles there are graces there are anointings that are not just looking for believers not just looking for preachers not just looking for god lovers but looking for people who can stand like habakkuk he says i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower that i will see what the lord will say these men will carry strange levels of anointings and will be able to do so much for the lord in this end time my assignment tonight as i prepare us to pray is to help us understand the demands what does it take to be part of god's end time move what does it take what will it take for the church in an Ambra state what will it take for the believer within this territory what will it take to host the move and the purposes of god within your territory 
can i tell you this with all due respect i submit to you most of our singing and dancing about revival will only end as songs revival is not a wish there is a price revival is more than a wish an awakening a move of the spirit across individuals and then territories a display of the power the grace the presence of god it takes more than a desire that's why i started with that song revive us again i believe that seated in this beautiful auditorium tonight i believe that following online across the globe are men and women who have responded to this call by the spirit more than just by invitation it's a call by the spirit because the holy spirit is still searching for men and women who will be available in isaiah chapter 6 the bible says in the year that king uzziah died i isaiah saw the lord and that he saw him he was high and lifted up and that the train of his robe filled the temple and then when isaiah saw all of that this is what he said woe is me for i am undone he said i am a man of unclean lips and i dwell amidst the people of unclean lips who is that person who will embody our desire and isaiah said i don't know the name of what i was doing before this encounter but lord here am i send me the question I would always ask is from chapter 1 to 5, who sent him? Because he was not a fake prophet. The book of Isaiah begins with a prophecy, a genuine prophecy by a man of God. But by the time we get to chapter 6, the man is crying again. Send me. My soul says yes, says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes to your will my life says yes says yes says yes my life says yes says yes to your will so my assignment as we begin tonight is to begin to open us up to what it takes to be used by God. Please look up. Let me tell you this. It is never God's desire, my precious people, never God's desire to have only a handful of mighty men and women in ministry, mighty kingdom financiers and entrepreneurs in business, with a kingdom mindset, mighty men and women in politics and so on and so forth, frontiering the course of the kingdom while several believers just remain spectators, clapping for those who are producing uncommon results. No, it is our corporate heritage in Christ. Ephesians, please give me Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 10. I want you to read that scripture with all your heart in fact Ephesians 3 let's start from 3 to 5 then we'll jump to verse 10 media can we walk together Ephesians chapter 3 will I have it here okay beautiful the Bible says let's start from verse 3 Ephesians 3 we'll do 3 to 5 then we'll go to verse 10 in that order 3 to 5 then verse 10 Apostle Paul is speaking The power of God is coming on five people now. I will continue teaching. But this, this revival, I just saw something that looked like a sickle. A harvest sickle. And the Lord is saying there are five people here that he has been seeking them. He has been giving some of you dreams and encounters. Right now, the five, five of them. Please bring them out. Help them, please. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed bring them out 
Whether you are an usher or not, please just help anyone under the anointing. To the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Your name is to be hallowed. What he says to one, he says to all. Every time a word comes, there are specific people and there are those who tap by the opening of their hands. You didn't come to waste your time. It's a prophetic convocation. Can you pray in the spirit in one minute before we continue? In one minute, you are opening your spirit to receive the things that God is doing. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name. I'm seeing the photo of someone and I'm seeing your hair growing. Your hair is a symbol of your glory. The Lord is showing me. I'm seeing the anointing coming on someone. You have, you have lost certain virtues in the spirit. There are dimensions you used to walk with. Bring them out. Prophetic dimensions. Wells that have been closed. They were dug up. But the Philistines came and closed those wells. Wells of visions. Wells of wisdom. The Lord is opening those wells again. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help those under the anointing. Bring them out. Do you have ushers here? Something is happening to your spirit. Deep is calling on to deep tonight. Yeah. 
This is part of the meeting. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing God hand keys to people. I'm seeing keys. A key is a symbol of access. Access to realms. Access to dimensions first spiritually but it's translating into different levels some of you are men of god some of you are business people keys i release those keys right now by the power of prophecy keys keys opening you up to new realms keys opening you up to new faces for some of you you are ending chapters of your life and opening other chapters Just a minute or two and we'll get back to the word. I'm still seeing keys. Keys given to people. Habalike parodas kadeba lada boks. Anambra, he comes to you. Giving you keys measuring a thousand cubits and shifting you to deeper levels of your spiritual experience Exalted like the horn of a unicorn, I am anointed for someone here. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the vision to yourself, share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskate bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kene kata. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.